Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel for those who are new here. Hello, my name is Dion, a photographer here in New York City. Well, currently I'm in Houston, but I'm based in New York. Um, and today we're checking out the photos that Jenno from NCT did for Harper's Bazaar Korea, October 2023. Um, this might be my third solo Jenno shoot, if not fourth. No. Huh. I don't remember. But if you want to see more of my photo shoot reviews, there is a whole playlist on my channel to check out more. Um, I'm excited to get into this today with you guys. But before I do, please consider becoming a patron. I'm going to be starting to react to Weekly Idol on there. I kind of want to see the new groups. I want to see some old groups come back. I might even go as far as watch older episodes of Weekly Idol because I I don't watch the show. Um, but I've seen it back, like, back in 2017, 2018. I was watching Weekly Idol here and there. Um, but I was like, you know what? I kind of want to go check it out now. There's new hosts now. I remember those two guys were on with the idol before. Those comedians. And then this one girl came to the team. I forgot her name. An old boy from Super Junior was a host. But then after that, I was like, who are these folks? Because I saw a little bit of the, this current episode I'm going to watch of the new with Gravity and One uh, one Us. And I was like, who, who are these people? Um, so I really want to get back into it. That's the whole point of it. So if you guys want to watch that with me and also help support the channel, please consider becoming a patron today. Okay, so first image. <gasps> Ooh, I love this. First of all, the jawline is hidden. Um, but I like this color. It's like a stone kind of pattern, but this it's, like a, it's purple. Come on, color purple. Um, what is this? Is this Prada? Is he? Because y'all know these... Um, magazine photo shoots and the idols most times are sponsored by one particular brand and it might this might be Prada I could be wrong but let me know um I like this I like the composition I love the lighting so much it's that highlight on the cheekbone that shadow on the side of the face excuse me this is everything this is everything next image ooh sophisticated I love whatever it's, I thought, okay, it looks like this white part is connected to the jacket. So like the jacket is like black, but then like part of it is like white, but it also looks like it's the under. Okay, never mind. Just kidding. So yeah, the jacket is white at this part right here in the front, but there is a white undershirt. But I thought it was continuing from out of there. So I was like, wait, how does this work? But now I see it. I see it. Um, I really like this jacket. It's really cool. I like how his hair is. Again, the lighting, the jawline. The composition is really good. He's holding the bag. This is a very simple image, but for some reason, it's giving me high fashion, and I love that. And I feel like, um, you know, solo photo shoots or with the group, concept photos, it doesn't matter. He really serves a lot. Like, he's giving face. He's giving movement. He's giving a lot. I, I feel like I want to shoot him. Like, I want to photograph you know, one day because he be eating. He eats it all up. Next image. Ooh. I... What brand is this? Because these, like, white pieces on, like, the part of the jacket, I don't know. But I'm liking that. It makes it a little more interesting. Like, it's still a standard jacket, coat, whatever you want to call it. But it, it's a little different because there's, a, there's a, something different. It's not one solid color. So it's kind of like, ooh, that's, that's kind of cool. That's kind of different. That's funky. But not too crazy. You know what I mean? And I like that. Also, I like this gradient backdrop. I keep saying that every photo shoot, but I love me a gradient backdrop. One color to another. It's always, you know, because I've never done that, a gradient backdrop. So I, I whenever I see it, I'm like, oh, that looks so good. I want to try it. I want to try it so bad. Um, this is no exception. I'm, I want to try this color. This looks good. And he looks tall. I forgot. There was this designer. It might be Helmut Lang. Um, was the brand? The designer took over and his first show as a designer, I think he had Jeno on the runway. What brand was that? I feel like it's, cause I've never seen a video on that brand and I've seen, they were like, oh, they had Jeno from NCT as a model. I was like, oh yeah, I remember that. And I was like, oh, come on Jeno. Um, come to Fashion Week again. Next image. You know what? They know what they're doing cause they have a very, very simple way of styling him. The pieces are not loud. They're all dark pieces, but they kind of contrast that with these backdrops, these colors they're using for the backdrops. Um, 
it, this is this looks so good. I love how that. I'm not sure if it's hand painted or what. This whole wall thing. Also, his jawline is hitting real hard in this one. It's giving like <laughs> like a Giga Chad chin. All right, chin chin chin. Next image. Ooh, come on. Um, sweatsuit. What is this? This can't be leather. Can it? I don't know, but I like this outfit. The matching set, the tight fitted tank, the simple posing. Like I said, they, they get they make the the backdrop pop. But I feel like in this image, the outfit because it's like this leathery plastic bag material. I don't know what this is. I think that stands out more than it being a contrasting on the backdrop because the backdrop is kind of like a darker color, just like the outfit's dark, so it's not that big of a deal. But I think because it's like plastic baggy, it makes it more interesting. What you what y'all think? Next image. Oh, I absolutely love this. This lighting, this tight fitted shirt with the underneath, like the, I love, for some reason, I like a long sleeve that goes like here. Is that weird? Maybe so. I don't know. But that's aesthetically pleasing to me. Whenever I see people long sleeve and just, or like, or sometimes they'll have like these um, fitted compression type tops like this, where it's, um, there's a thumb hole and you just, I don't know why, but it's so satisfying to me. I like that so much actually. And this image, it's it's rather simple. He just, this pose is nothing new. Like, you know, it's very simple, but with his lighting, his expression, the outfit, it just is a 10 out of 10 for me. I'm so sorry, y'all. This is so good. This is so good. I, uh, this is so good. Next image. Um, I like this a lot. This, it's a bit wonky with the proportions because the the point of view, because you got the big old feet in the front and he's way back there. And he looks kind of like cut off a little bit. It's, 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 it looks weird, but it also looks cool. And the jawline and that lighting. I just think I like this photography style with this very feathered soft lighting, but it's also kind of harsh because you see the shadow. So I like the mix between the two, soft light but harsh shadows. It's going to hit every time for me. It's going to hit every time. So the image may be simple, but the lighting is going to give it a bit more dimension. That's what it is. There's a lot of dimension in this image. Even though it's very simple, it's still, it's still give, giving me a lot. Next image. Ooh. Now here, you can rarely see the jawline jawing. You really can't. That's intense. I could do without this wet hair. I mean, it didn't bother me in the other images. For some reason, it's bothering me here. It's a little too structured almost it's supposed to be like messy but it's not really that messy it's kind of like they, they pieced it and like i don't know it it would have been cool if maybe it wasn't so like down his face like this or maybe there's more like i don't, I don't know i maybe not i don't know I'm not a big fan of the hair in this image even though he had it in the other images and it was no big deal maybe how, how that was styled there i don't know but good image overall just that hair is a little it's bothered me a little bit Last but not least, ooh, okay, see the hair here is kind of similar to that, but it's, oh, it's not similar. Okay, so there's a part here coming down. That's what's the difference. The other image is kind of like swooped down this way. This one is, anyways, I like this. Oh my God, it looks like a 90s cover. Like if he did like a solo album, this would be like the cover of the album. Let me crop it in. Yeah, can you imagine? Have his name, and then like the song's like, you know, yours, mine, ours, <laughs> Blue Lagoon, <laughs> or something like that. This is a good image. Okay, so we're at the end. Um, so now we get to pick out our favorite image from the whole shoot, and I'm gonna go and pick this one. But I'm sure you guys saw this coming. My ranting and raving over the image. I love it so much. It's so good. What brand is this? I feel like it was Prada. I could be wrong, though. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts below on this photo shoot. Let me know what's your favorite image. Um, if there's any other photo shoots that Jeno has done that I haven't reviewed yet, um, let me know. If you haven't seen my other photo shoot reviews, go down to my page. There's a playlist called Photo Shoot Reviews. Go check it out. Um, but yeah, but still let me know what I should check out next. Again, watch Weekly Idol with me on my Patreon page. It's linked below. And I will see you guys in the next video.